Hi, Phil Schoenberg, Fast Pitch Power. We've talked a lot about where the pitch begins in power K position. Very simply, the delivery of your pitch is going to begin when you get into this position. Balanced, looking like the letter K, vertically stacked in a position where you can fire aggressively and drive through to the front side with a consistent, balanced, powerful posture. I recently had uh, one of our followers send a, um, a question. Uh, all of a sudden, uh, my daughter seems to have lost about two, three miles an hour on her pitch. Something seems off in her timing. Can't figure it out. Uh, and it looks as though she's pushing the ball. As it relates to the power K position, your arm circle, your stride, and your landing are very, very much connected. And the timing of the pitch is dependent upon the timing of those three things. I asked to see a video, and I saw it, and immediately picked out what the issue was. And this is a very common issue. I call it pre-tracking, tracking too soon. I like to teach our pitchers that when you are delivering the ball, your arm circle is as though the ball is attached to a giant hula hoop. And your ball has to go all the way around that hula hoop on the frontal plane, which is impossible to stay on unless you track at the right time. So what do I mean by that? First, I'm going to demonstrate what this particular pitcher was doing that was creating her problem. It was easily seen, and by the way, thankfully easily resolved. As she was coming off the pitching rubber, or getting into her pre-motion rather, she was tracking too soon. Now, we want our pitchers to track quickly, not soon. This is tracking too soon. As you go into your pre-motion, your body starts to turn before you even reach for your target. When that happens, your arm is going to go this way. And when you land, Instead of having completed a full circle as though the ball is attached to a giant hula hoop, you're going to land with your hand at least halfway down the back side of the arm circle. So your solid foundation takes place when your stride foot lands and you're in a balanced position. And here, I have no distance down the back side of the circle to do anything but push the ball forward. As opposed to that, a quick track, not a soon track, will look more like this. Both of my hands reach for my target as my stride foot reaches out. When both my hands get to my chin or to my nose, that's when I track quickly. Now you'll notice I did that really fast, but if I slow it down, when both of my hands get to my chin and I track quickly, my big circle continues like the ball's attached to a giant hula hoop. Now my timing is great. I have landed. I'm in a power K position. I'm not halfway down the back side of the circle. I'm between 12 and 10 o'clock on a clock. I have the full back side of the circle with a solid foundation to deliver that ball and drive through. From the front, I'm going to have to step over a little bit. It will look the incorrect way, or one of the mechanical flaws, the two soon track will look like this. I've tracked my body now. It's a lazy way of getting into position. Now my hand can't go out there to complete the front side of the circle. It's going to go here. It's going to shorten the circle. When my stride foot lands, my hand's way down here. Very little power coming from this delivery now. A lot of push, very little fire and snap. Quick track. Not soon, hands get to chin, I'm still forward. Now I track, complete my circle. Glove stays pointing at where I want that ball to go. Great power K position. Fire and drive. Timing very important in hitting, in any athletic endeavor. Timing is critical. As it relates to windmill pitching, your timing, your pitch starts when your stride foot lands and you're in power K position. I hope this has been useful to you. Keep your questions coming. 
We're happy to try to answer them as best we can. Talk to you next time.